Continuing with our 80s theme, we've got a, a couple of magazines here um, that are from the 80s. How about that? It's 80s themes and hey, 80s hey, magazines. J.D., you got to let the camera read the So we, we've got a, we've got a, we've I don't got think a, I've we've ever seen old these issues. Here, uh, yeah? And we've got an old Transworld. Trans 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 that's, that's like the, that's like the, the second two, one. Yeah. April, May, yeah. 84. I just saw this one it's on. It's new and approved. Yeah, exactly. And I just saw this one online uh, uh, for sale for uh, quite a bit, large amount of money. Actually, a couple I can, hundred bucks. I can imagine, yeah. I've never but seen so, it. So tell us a little bit about the difference between Thrasher Magazine and Transworld well, Magazine. Well, on the cover of this one is uh, Tom Grahulski oh, on yeah. this crazy plexiglass ramp. Yeah. It was an old Pepsi ramp. It's a Pepsi ramp. ramp, yeah. That he had set up in his backyard. So the craziest thing about this is this was also set up up there in Jersey. And they get a lot of snow up there and everything. And this plexiglass is extremely slick anyway. So you throw some snow and some ice, ice on, on it. Yeah, you know. But these guys used to clean it off and skate it all the time. And that's how Tom became really good is if, and this is something that I've always thought, if you can skate the worst, sketchiest stuff in the world and skate it really well, you can go anywhere. Exactly. That's why East Coast was always rather than West Coast. Sorry, West Coast. <laughs> but we had janky crap. When you when you ride janky crap that you're barely holding together with a couple of nails or a couple of screws, and then you get out to California and skateboard land, where everything's easy. Everything's small. Well, they also they had bigger advantages. They had more terrain all the time. The weather. We really had to make it work on the East Coast. And so if you could rip on the East Coast, you could show up and show those guys what was up. Right, exactly. The, the exactly. Texas guys were a little bit like that. They had it pretty groomed. Talking about there were little clicks. You know, there was the whole California scene going on, but there was, you know, there was a little click up in uh, the Toxic guys and all yeah. those guys that yeah. were up in uh, Philly and uh, yeah, Pennsylvania and all that stuff. And then you had the Zorlite guys that were all from Texas and everything. And then you had the guys who were from Florida and they had their own little crew. So there were, and then you had the whole Atlanta guys. And that's what uh, Markovich was talking about a little bit was um, how Atlanta was a little bit more diverse because there wasn't one big overriding company like Zorlite yeah. in Texas or, um, you know, Toxic sure. up in the north. Yeah. That's got to be one of the first smaller thrashers, right? Uh, yes. This the first is probably, after the news, yeah. newspaper. Probably news newspaper. Newsprint. But it's still, yeah. got the, it's still got the... Still newsprint. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, this is how old this is. Lance Mountain is riding for Veriflow. He's got his own pro <laughs> He's this got right his here, own... That's a Lance right, Mountain model. Right, right. This was a uh, uh, bogey. Billy Beauregard. Wow. He had his own model for a little while. Lance Mountain. No. Nope. Um, uh, this is Eric Grisham, I think. It was wow. a Grizzly. Uh, look, first tracker. Tracker. <laughs> they <laughs> they were the first with Copers. <laughs> just, to, just to set that straight. Versatility. That's right. Just to set that straight. They were the first with Copers. Look, here's Mark Gator Grosky uh, coming out of a hole in the ground. I'm, going? I, what are they selling there? Going, going trash. He, he might still be there. Come up, <laughs> come up to the street. Yeah. Really? I, yeah. He was a come, going guy. Come up, yeah. Oh, Gator. Yeah. Rode all through until the nineties. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Gator always. He rode the so. fluorescent phoenix and all that crap. Billy Graff. Do a freestyle board. This is the original first street skate people. The jammer. The jammer. Put out by Santa Cruz, it wasn't. It was put out by NHS. It wasn't under the Santa Cruz label, but this was one of the very first street skates that ever came out. When street skating kind of became a thing there for a little bit, because you had to have something to do when you weren't skating vert or when the skate park was closed. That's a pretty progressive skateboard for 1982, man. Like you, a kid today could jump on that and actually ride that. That's actually yeah. a rideable. Yeah, skateboard it was. It was uh, this one and the Powell General Issue. Mm -hmm. Both of those were on the cutting edge of skateboard technology at the time. This, yeah, was, this is what they called a street skate. $54. Right that's yeah. a bargain. Yeah. 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 Oh, look. Yeah. Old very, score skateboarding yeah. ads. The very, the, very, ads. the very first snowboarding ads right there. Who needs bindings? <laughs> look, there's some downhill illusion going on. <laughs> so this was part of the bad. 80s. This, you know, How many kids out there have that now, tattoo? Now, <laughs> now Thrasher, of course, Thrasher. out in Northern California. They uh, were linked up with Indy. It was a little bit more of a biker scene. Speaking of bikers, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a motorcycle cop in the background <laughs> while Rodney Mullins dancing on his skateboard right here. God, the 80s were cool. So, so, Roger was a little bit more hardcore. They were so on the flip side of that, 
You had Trans World. <laughs> we had Trans World. Trans World was clean cut. Trans World was clean cut. This was more of an industry rag. People that were in the industry at that time, especially in Southern California, wanted to keep it more clean cut. So they were more into the surfer image, you know, that kind of thing. Pretty boy, California. California dreaming. Uh, so, so this was their deal, and this is the second issue of Transworld. And they were way ahead of their time. They had slick pages from the beginning. Yes. You know, but they were also they only they were bi monthly. They only put That's out six true. issues a year, and uh, they were they cost a little bit. More. And and they were kind of the tracker crew. It was always you know the the Indies versus trackers, NorCal versus SoCal, and that even fed down into Tennessee. You know, who was riding trackers? You see a guy riding trackers? Oh. You know, you think <laughs> I'm about trackers. I uh, know. Or you see a guy riding <laughs> indies and you think a certain way about the, yeah. what equipment that person was riding. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Dang. So what else we got in this trans world? Anything fun? Oh, I'm sure there's all ads. kinds of good stuff. Yes. yes. Match that. Anything. Yeah. Neil Blender. Yeah. Doing a big, huge indie air. That's right. That's hey, subscribe. look, there's some Neil Blender art right there. Oh, yeah. You well, see, I mean, and that was... Uh, you can't really see actually, that on the cam, but... Yeah, we're going to work out our lighting, folks. <laughs> our lighting is really not so great right now, but we're going to work that out. You know, all those big Hollywood productions, they got nothing on us. <laughs> yeah. uh, this sure. magazine was actually just a little bit more than a glorified rag. And one of the reasons there is a couple of guys that actually lived in Tennessee that moved there. Britt Parrott used to be one of their editors at Transworld Magazine. And a lot of those guys were bringing that zine ethic. Right. Transworld was actually bringing people in from other places. So this is 84. Them. I was going to say the, yeah. the quality is really good. The, the skateboarding, you can tell, is evolved. That's Tony Hawk. There he goes. That's Tony Stock. Look at that. <laughs> Doing a big, huge foot side ollie. Yeah. Look at that. Look at Tony Hawk's a little kid in that picture. Wow. And Transworld always had, a, always had a poster in the middle. Yeah. So yeah. you got something pull, to hang on you your wall. You can always pull it out and hang it on your wall. There's, yeah. more, there's more blender art right there. Look, trick tips with Rodney Mullen, all freestyle. You see, you didn't see much freestyle on Thrasher. You saw it in Transworld. Yeah. <laughs> well, we there with Thrasher did have a full page Rodney Mullen picture in that last, but that was eighty two. This is eighty four. Right. So right, I just right. want to point out this tracker ad, slide and rolls. Look, their Cooper situation was so complex that you had to take your wheels off. Put the coper on, slide these two bushings on on top of it, then put your wheels on, and the wheels held it all in place. But if you didn't get it the right tightness, they would rub on your freaking wheels, or if the wheels weren't cut right, <laughs> God, what a pain in the ass. Who rode trackers? And look, they I mean, they've even got a damn lapper on it, too. I never so understood The more that. plastic you can put it on your board, the more you well, sell. Well, and that was about the time that the uh, the plastic base plate was coming out on the six tracks. God, yeah. Awful. And as you cranked them down and you yeah, rode them. I think they would have learned that for Bennett's. Exactly. They started bowing real bad. You know, they'd bow real Yeah, bad. break them. People love their trucks. Yeah. You know, I don't even ride like in. I, well, I, I own a couple of pairs of Indies because I have to. I don't have enough gold wings to go around. But when it comes to park riding or serious skateboarding, I ride gold wings. Well, I've so, learned something. We think we know I did not know that that was the Pepsi Ram. That was a Pepsi Ram. And that blows my mind. Thanks, Pepsi. And they gave it to Grolsky to put in his back. I don't think Well, he ended up, his parents were very supportive. And they ended up, yeah. had, he had a little complex all through growing up. That's why he was so rad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And actually still is rad. And he is. And a very humble guy. Very nice guy. Thanks for stopping by Kick Turn Party. <laughs> yeah. Send us Another an Another episode of Kick Turn Party. We're tell out. us what you love. Tell us what you hate. Give us some ideas. Tell, tell us we're wrong. <laughs> I would say we're wrong more than right. Yeah. Everybody's going to hang out here tonight. All right. We'll pass out in the flat. All right. Doesn't